Baka yan yung, pin, yung pineke na naman, yung buhay, ginawang patay. Attorney, right? Kung nasa korte tayo, pagagalitan ka ng judge, sira na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan just because meron diyang pumirma na patay na. Kung nagsinungaling, ikaw ang sinungaling. Not that gentleman there. Dahil yung patay, binuhay mo. Discretion authority, kaso puro po namin na ipanalo yun. Hanggang sa dumating sa Supreme Court, panalo pa rin kami. So, sa napakatagal po ng aming kaso, tatlo po, na, tatlo po sa aming kasamahan ang namatay na. It's Ilan ang namatay na? Tatlo po yung namatay na, si Mr. Eduardo Nonsol, si Elmore Mabatan, at saka si Jose Balde. Sa tagal po ng aming uh, paghintay, kung saan saan kami napunta sa Register of Bids, nung gusto namin implement na yung panalo namin na malipat na sa amin ang pangalan uh, doon sa titulo, wala po kaming napala hanggang na nabaliwala na po siya. Hindi na namin malaman kung ano pang gagawin namin. Sa tagal-tagal po na ang aming uh, kaso na yun. Mula labor hanggang Supreme Court na ipanalo po namin. Pero hanggang ngayon po, uh, Gusto ko po sana ng uh, sin ng mga kinauukulan na yung pagiging delaying tactics ng mga malalaking kumpanya. Sino, pinapat, sino po pinapat, pinapatukuyan uh, ninyo? Hindi po kami. Sino po pinapatukuyan ninyo ang malalaking kumpanya? Ang DMCI? Opo. Hmm. Tara po kami sa kanila. Uh, June 1, 2015, kikiusap kami. na magkaroon na lang ng amicable settlement, uh, hindi po kami pinansin. Nagpadala po kami ng surat, pumunta kami sa opisina nila, pero hindi po kami entertain. Hanggang pinaghintay lang po kami, hanggang sa inaminabot ng uh, uwi na. Ilang beses po kayo nagpunta sa DMCI at hindi kayo pinansin? Po, tatlong beses. Tatlong beses lang sa loob ng? Mga 2016, 2015, ganun. Taon na yun. Uh, wala ko kayo nakausap? Uh, meron po kaming nakausap doon na uh, yung abogado nila, si Atty. Uh, Gascon. Mm. Pero pinaghintay lang po kami doon sa isang kwarto. Hintay-hintay lang kayo at meron akong uh, uh, inaasikas. So, uh, ina -ano. Pero ang uh, inabot kami ng alas 5 ng hapon, wala na nag-uwi yan. Ah. Wala na po kami magawa kundi umuwi na rin din. Sa katunayan po, may surat po kami. Noon, uh, pwede ko bang ipakita ito na yung Francis? Direction mo na sabi rin mo na. Surat po namin sa Presidente. Ano Presidente? Na? DMCI. Okay. Ito, uh, ito sulat nyo sa Presidente DMCI. ng DMCI. Sinagot ba ang sulat ninyo? Hindi po. Hindi kayo sinagot? Ito sulat ninyo? So, meron pa ako kayo yung sasabihin pa? Uh, wala na po. Wala. Okay. Uh, Attorney Guscon. Narinig niyo yung mga pahayag ni Ginong uh, Rebueno? Meron ka bang uh, nais? Uh... Uh, we acknowledge that Mr. Not only that uh, work, this are group of workers, Your Honor. It is not only Mr. Rebueno who, who compromised these uh, workers. Where in fact, the uh, other workers, which is the main complainant, Ms. Nelia Bernadas, are here. And I think uh, Mr. Rebueno is not Uh, I'm sorry to say, but uh, he is not truthful. Uh, how, how did you say that he is not truthful? Your Honor, they went to the office. They're asking us to be compensated. Uh, they want to, to get the, what you call, their award from the, the labor. Unfortunately, uh, they're saying have to pay them. But Your Honor, uh, in their various pleadings, they are not the only one claiming in the MCI because there are other parties who are already... Uh, stating coming to the MCI, not only them, that they said that they already sold their rights to the lease. And uh, during the time, Honor, it is not only one party, but only various parties, Your Honor. And we talked to them. They said that if we want to settle you, uh, we have to settle also the, we have to call the other parties that uh, allegedly that you sold your rights. So we, is it like this, Your Honor, that Uh, various groups are already coming to the MCI, stating among others that they are already the owners. We we conveyed to them that 
uh, in order to avoid any any suits or any conflicts anymore, Your Honor, we ask them that all parties should come together and we go to the to the labor arbiter to settle once and for all their claim, because we told to them it is unfair to the MCI. We will going to fee you, and then here comes another group of parties who will going against us. So we ask them if if in case we we. We convey to them that we're really willing to, to settle with them. But we, we are asking them that we settle in front of the labor arbiter, Your Honor. So, but since they don't want to do that, we, it, we uh, settle with them, Your Honor, during that time. Mr. Chair, it's questions. not for you to tell us here that he's lying. Because, kaya naman dyan sa DMC, marami rin kayong kasinungalingan. As a matter of fact, during the last hearing, I already warned you na magsabing totoo. Uh, dahil yung patay binuhay mo. In fact, dapat ma-disbar ka nga as far as I'm concerned. Alam mo na sa, doon sa sinumpaan mong uh, dokumento na para ikaw ay makamotorize, dapat nandoon yung tao present. Pero pumit ka pa rin kahit na hindi present yung tao doon. So doon palang ikaw ang nagsinungaling, ikaw ang sinungaling, not that gentleman there. So before accusing that gentleman as a liar, look in the mirror. Because ikaw, very glaring yung violation mo, nagsinungaling ka, pinirmahan mo doon na nasa harap ko yung nagpapanotarize ng dokumento when in fact, those two persons were not there. So you're the liar, not him. You understand? Okay. Now, my question, Mr. Chair, is for the president. Is he here? President of uh, the MCI? Are you the president and CEO? Of, of which department? Uh, Mr. Ostea, sir, yes. President, po kayo ng buong DMCI Corporation Company or certain uh, DMCI Project Developers Incorporated? Yun, yun po yung project. Ang pinapatawag ata dito yung overall presidency ng DMCI, Mr. Chair. Bakit ang pinadala sa atin yung developer? Project developer. Uh, where is the the owner of uh, DMCI? Are yes. you privy to all transactions regarding DMCI? Not all, but uh, what do you mean not all? Most transactions, not because if you cannot answer in behalf of DMCI, I'll let you out here. I'll let you go out here. Are you willing to speak for in, in behalf of DMCI? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ang ibig sabihin lang po ni Mr. Chair, baka sabihin mamaya, kahire lang po sa akin two months ago or two years ago, hindi pa po ako presidente niyan. So we don't want to have that kind of answer from you. So how long have you been working? With the MCI, Mr. Austria. Um, since 1990, well, since 1999, 90. That's good enough for me. Yes. Okay, 90s, because that's how it all started. Now, since you are the president of uh, the MCI Project Developers, that was your position from the very beginning, right? Um, no. Or you rose from the rocks. I was. What was your managed. position back in the 90s with the MCI? I was Initially, managing director, but then... Managing director. What do you do as managing director? Well, it's almost the same as being president, actually. Yeah, tell, tell us. What does a managing director do? I was... Uh, well, I was directing all of the operations of the company. I was reporting to our CEO back then, no? So, when you say operations, day-to-day -day operations, that would include anything that concerns litigations, right? Yes. Okay. Good. So you were aware is a uh, litigation uh, case involving uh, the sale of this property we're talking about now. It's in the courts, right? I I was I was made aware um, a few years ago, but initially uh, I was not aware of it. Okay. After you've been made aware, like you said, then what did you do? I was aware uh, just. Two years ago or something, you know, but uh, because we two have years ago, people. I thought yeah. you said you were with DMZI Correct. since 1999 or yeah. something, yes. right? But so you mean to say now you were just made aware two years ago? Yes, after Your Honor. Yes, the Your things Honor. were already brought to court. Dapat before it was brought to court, you were aware sa lahat ng day-to-day -day operation because you're the operations president. Economist right. Malagsabe, day-to-day operation, alam mo dapat yan, and then you report to your higher-up. And who's that higher-up that you report to? I report to the board. 
Correct. to the boards. Okay. And then you give sound advice to the board kung ano yung uh, action that should be taken after yes, you receive all this information below, tama, on the ground. Now, ulitin ko ang tanong ko. Nalaman niyo po na may problema yung lupa. Okay? It's, it's on litigation. It's under litigation. Ano pong ginawa niyo? Wala Nalaman. kayong ginawang... Uh, hindi niyo po kinausap yung board, hindi niyo kinausap yung mga concerned uh, mga department, units, and people para sabihin, hey, mukhang delikado tayo tumain ito. ba? Diba? And then, bring up to the board kung ano yung maging uh, decision ng pangkalahatan ng nakarami. Majority. Mm. Unfortunately, Your Honor, um, I learned about this, I was made aware of this case uh, not too long ago. Um, because uh, we have plenty of, I don't know, well, we are dealing with so many details in the company, no? And uh, in, I think... Define so many details. Well... So, so ibig sabihin, itong kasong ito, maliit lang na detail, kasama to sa so many details, and then hindi bibigyan importante ito. We were talking about billions and billions of worth of our projects, and hindi mo mabibigyan attention to hindi to naka hindi hindi po ng attention it's, it's, mo hindi po ganoon importante ho ito dahil sa amin po very important yung being fair to all people yes, we're sir. dealing with no okay um it's all in the sense na normally pagka hindi kaya ng mga department heads or division heads yung mga hinahandle nilang trabaho saka umaakyat po sa sa akin eh. pero okay. hindi ho lahat ng lahat ng uh, lahat ng tasks no? okay. nakakarating po sa akin. Okay. So, nung makarating sa yung kaso, ano pong ginawa niya? But before that, paano ipinating sa iyo yung kaso? How was it explained to you? And who did the explanation? Actually, um, ano po eh, nung nalaman ko lang ito nung recently lang po, nung last year. Last year, uh, meron ng kaso and uh, Last year. Okay, last year na nalaman na may kaso. And he was the one who told you about the case, right? And then, ano po, paano niya nasabi sa inyo? How was it explained to you? On si Atty. Pasho, siya yung head ng legal department. I know, I know. Siya po yung nag... Kaya, kaya nga, I, I want it from your, from your own mouth, from yes. your own words. Yes. Paano nila ipiniliwanag sa inyo yung problema? Paano nila sinabi? Paano pagkasabi sa inyo? Well, sabi po nila na um, may kaso and uh, they they are talking with the parties involved. No? And um, na-settle naman daw nila yung, ano, yung kaso. Na-settle? Opo. Uh, defined settle. Na-settle well, na. Initially, noong 2000, 2009, no? kinuwento nila sa akin noong 2009. Um, na-settle na? Sinettle nila yung kaso. Off. Eh, sabi niya, how was it settled? So, with the permission of Senator Tuan. How was it settled? If it, if yung, it was already settled, how come they are still here and complaining? Opo. Uh, oh. According to our... According to who? To our lawyers po. Oh. Nag, nagbayaran, binayaran po sila nung, nung hinihingi na lang ang mga... Sino nagbayad? Ang DMCI po. DMCI. Pera ng DMCI? Opo. Oh. Eh, kung binayaran sila, why are, why are they still complaining? Yun nga po ang hindi namin maintindihan. Hindi ba kayo in-inform ni Atty. Gascon tungkol sa kasong to? Him being the, the legal counsel of the MCI? And you only knew it last year? And this, has, this case has been ongoing since 1996? And you were employed by the MCI in 1999? Yes. Should have briefed you regarding these cases. This case. Oh, tapos ngayon, wala kang ano. I think the reason why hindi nila ako in-inform about it, kasi po, in their in their minds, nasettle na yung case po. Nag in their minds? Oh, nag-bayad. How much did you pay them? How much did you, did they, did, they, did you settle dito sa mga complainants? 1.9 million po. One way point... back in 2000 and 2009. 1.9? Opo. Billion? Yes, million. 1.9 million. 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 Who were the beneficiaries? 
The workers po ang nabayaran uh, po. Uh, sige, I will go to you after that. Sige, Senator Rafi, you may. Okay. Uh, let me go back to uh, Mr. Rebueno. Okay, Mr. Rebueno, sabi mo sa akin kanina, dito, uh, hindi kayo pinapansin. If he's telling the truth, then mukhang may pagkukulang doon sa statement mo. Nasabi mo, hindi ka pinapansin, eh sabi niya, pinansin ka nila by way of uh, kayo mga complain at nakipagsayatel. Totoo ba nung, what year was that, Mr. Austria? 2009 po. 2009, nakipagkita kayo sa kanila at uh, nag, nagbigay sila ng 1.9 million. And saan po nangyari ito? Sa office po ng DMCI Homes. Sa, sa, sa office ng DMCI, DMCI po. Which office? Is sa this? Bangkal po, sa Makati. Bangkal, Makati. And do you have the month, date? Okay. Anyway, uh, Mr. Rubeno or Attorney Capuno, since you're the lawyer. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I think, Your Honor, the settlement being mentioned by the President of DMCI back in 2009, this pertains to the deed of redemption of real property where they claim to have paid the laborers uh, 1.9 uh, million. This was the subject, Your Honor, of the query, uh, the previous hearing, uh, where there was a falsified uh, document forged uh, a party, Marikit, who died already, that was uh, notarized by the Council of DMCI, Your Honor. I think that's the settlement they are mentioning in 2000, back in 2009. We're not aware, Your Honor, how they paid it, but uh, we're just basing it on the uh, facts uh, narrated by the Supreme Court in their decision. How did you settle them? No, 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 no. It's Mr. Austria. Binayaran po sila ng cash po. Is it true na binayaran kayo ng 1.9 M or B? Million. Mil million. Ah, million. Million. Million po. Oh. Wala pong totoo yan. Hindi po totoo yan. Wala kayo natanggap ng 1.9 million. Wala pong katotohanan yan. Meron ba kayo kasulutan? Uh, yes, Your Honor. That's why the other workers are here, Your Honor. They could testify all that. The other workers? Yes, Your Honor. And si Mr. Lilio, he keeps on denying it. He is there, Your Honor, in the title of the case. There no, are... no, no. Nabigyan niyo ba si Mr. Lilio na kanyang share? He was there, Your Honor. He, but nakatanggap ba siya? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Nakatanggap po kayo? Wala po akong nagaling sa MCI. Can you help, can you please uh, present uh, your evidence if uh, Mr. Lilio Rebueno received or uh, 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 admitted to the settlement that you were telling us? Your Honor, during that time, there are three doc uh, the documents that we that we that when we paid them, it is a collective, Your Honor. Uh, no, I am asking you, kung nakatanggap ng pera ito si Rebueno, galing sa inyo. Yeah, we presume, Your Honor, because... Uh, presume? Thank you. There okay. should be the redemption, Your Honor. Hey, listen, there... listen, Mr. Dagascon, you're an attorney, right? And you should know better. Pag may mga transaksyon na tungkol sa isang kaso na gusto niyong in-action na niyo, bigyan solusyon, that should be documented. Kumari nga, dapat may video pa at may mga pirmahan, may mga quit claim, etc., etc. Meron ba yun? That's why you're on the show it to us here. Na back in 2009, That's why you're on the This is the document that we asked them to say. And then they, after one year, your honor, they're questioning it. After that, we, we, we asked them to sign it together with their counsel during that time. And then after one year, your honor, after we paid them all this one, that's the, that's the case. That's after this one. The, the question. Okay, kaya nga eh, si, you're an attorney, right? Kung nasa korte tayo, pagagalitan ka ng judge, sira na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan just because meron diyang pumirma na patay na. Pagagalitan ka ng judge, you know better, you're a lawyer. Giba na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan, regardless. Hindi natatanggapin yan. Kasi, kasi nungalingan eh. Fraud. Fraudulent involved just a document on So who would believe that? And it will not be accepted as evidence. Supporting. Why did you sign a public document or notarize a 
a document, uh, knowing fully well that some of these uh, workers has already passed away. Your Honor, Lagi mong sinasabi last hearing, you did it in good faith. But that was not in good faith. Your Honor, during the time, I already explained it last hearing, Your Honor. When uh, Last hearing, I already explained why did I sign it, this document, Your Honor. I, 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 because, okay, I'll cut you short. Huh? You signed it, ang nakalagay doon, personally appeared before me. Pero yung dalawa, they, they did not personally appear before you. Kasi patay na eh. Yes, Your Honor. But you have to sign it. Knowing fully well that these two has already passed away. Again, Your Honor, that's why in 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 my notarial register and notary book, why in fact that book, Your Honor, was reported to the to the what you call this, Your Honor, to the notarial section of the city of Makati. I clearly indicate in there in that document that that, that these two persons did not appear to me. The... Attorney Capuno, can you please shed light doon sa sinabi ng 1.9 million na binayari dito sa mga workers? Uh, Your Honor, I, I apologize to the committee. We're not yet the counsel at that time, Your Honor, back in 2009. We're only aware of this uh, copy of deed and or certificate of redemption of real property, which is a subject of the discussion of the Supreme Court in their decision, Your Honor. And in the said uh, acknowledgement portion, of the said document, it only stated here, see attached ID. Uh, it says here, if I may quote, before me a notary public foreign above the jurisdiction this 29, 2009 at Makati City personally appeared and then see attached ID. That is uh, the only note in the acknowledgement portion of the deed, Your Honor. To that extent, Your Honor, that is only our personal knowledge. All right, thank you, Attorney. Okay, uh, Mr. Austria. Sinabi mo nag, uh, you settled the workers in the amount of 1.9 million. Am I, am I correct? Is that what I heard from you? Yes, Your Honor. Mag, paano naging hatian? Paano naging hatian po? Paano naging hatian doon sa mga workers? How much did each worker receive out of this 1.9 million? I'm not personally that you aware. Settled, that you allegedly settled. I'm not personally aware po, but uh, I presume na it was equally divided among them, among the workers. Attorney Gascon, pwede mo sagutin yung tanong ko? Yes, sir. Hmm. Magkano naging hatian bawat manggagawa? Uh, during, during that time, Arna, I, I have no personal knowledge how they were going to divide it because uh, the the one that we are paid is all the claims, Your Honor, as the awarded by the NLRC, Your Honor. Okay, who gave the 1.9 million? I'm the one who gave it, Your Honor. To their, counsel, to their to their counsel in the presence of the of the of the complainants, Your Honor. Senior counsel and complainants. During that time, Your Honor, he was represented by uh, Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. And where Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. Billiamor Mostrales, Your Honor. The first name is Billiamor. Yes, Your Honor. You gave the one point nine million to them. Ah, uh, to him. Yes, Your Honor, with the presence of the other workers, Your Honor. How many workers were present? Uh, during that time, there are six. Six, including Rebueno? Yes, Your Honor, he was there. But he did not receive any amount? I, with regard, with regard um, how, how they receive it or how they will divide it, I don't know, Your Honor. Where, in fact, Your Honor, the other workers are here. Okay, they gave me 1.9 million kay dun sa council nila. Hiningan mo na resibo. Uh, we didn't ask receipt, Your Honor, because uh, the documents, as I have said before, uh, all the documents that we, the receipts that they sign is uh, as the receipt that they, that is all our proof, Your Honor. Kasi, uh, I would tend to believe, Mr. Rebueno, dahil sinabi niya, wala siya natatanggap. E di, ikaw rin, wala kang, wala kang proof na tumanggap itong si Mr. Rebueno ng, ng kanyang share out of the 1.9 million. Again, Your Honor, that, that our our only uh, proof is the one that they signed that which after which uh, after one year that they questioning. Well, in fact, Your Honor, if the committee uh, of the chair, uh, what you call this, allow uh, the other complainants can testify on it. Uh, Wait, uh, before that, I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Chiso Scudero. Okay, diba pag may mga settlement, tulad nyan, uh, merong litigation doon sa lupang pinag-usapan natin ngayon, property. Uh, at sabi mo po, Mr. Austria, you were made aware just two years ago 
pero pero wala ka pa pala no uh, pero nandoon ka na sa ano sa DMCI right I was I was in DMCI Pag mayroong mga desisyon ng settlement apo ano dapat ang nangyari bago magkaroon ng settlement Mr. Attorney Gasco uh, you can answer Nagpapaalam po nila sa the authorized uh, and persons who is who are these ju duly authorized persons para i bigyan ng green light ang settlement that particular case po ang nagpapaalam po sila Kanino sila magpapaalam po? Sa, sa treasurer po namin. Who's okay. also a member of the board. Be, bukod sa treasurer, kanino pa po? Dapat? Sa, sa treasurer po namin. Siya po ay member treasurer of the board. Treasurer lang? Siya po ay member of the board also. So, isa lang. Ilang ba ang members of the board? Right now, there are... Nine. Opo. Di ba, karapat dapat lang lahat ng members ng board ay mapagsabihan at dapat magkaroon ng botohan at board resolution para aprubahan yung magaganap na settlement. So, meron bang board resolution na naganap? Uh, hindi po kasi uh, yung board resolution po is authorizing our treasurer to to handle such issues. Kaya nga. So, meron bang board resolution authorizing the treasurer to handle that settlement of 1.9 million? Oh, kasi yung amount kaya hindi po kailangan ng board Maliit resolution. Maliit lang pero malaking kaso ito. Opo. Pero yung board resolution So, ibig sabihin po, so, so, hanggang saan ba yung malaki sa inyo na para malaman magkaroon ng resolution hanggang saan ba'y maliit? Define maliit and define is malaki sa terms po ninyo dyan sa DMCI. Meron pong, ano, in, in our company, just like any other companies, no, merong levels of authorization po. Pero may kaso to sa korte eh. Di ba? Yes. And, and the, the board must have known it. That this, you... there is an ongoing case and this case is being settled right here, right now. Dapat man lang hindi na bypass itong board. Actually, Sinabi sa board na, okay, mag magsisettle na tayo. We're gonna take off the monkey of your box. Ayusin na namin to. You inform the board, and then the board will pass a resolution allowing that settlement to happen. Yes. Oh. Um, so, a lot of cases, hindi na po dumarating sa board. Well, then, Kasi, may mga lapses kayo dito. May mga problema talaga kayo. Kasi gumagawa ko kasi sa history ito pala si Mr. Gascon. Hindi lang pala ito ano eh marunong magbuhay ng patay, magjikero din pala ito. Hmm. Di ba? Dito marami po kayo mga pagkukulang. Hindi po nasunod yung mga protocol. Kaya naakyat sa korte yung kaso. Kasi kung nasunod yung proseso, hindi na kailangan nila umakyat sa korte. I mean, at attorney Capuno. Uh, bakit inakyat ang kaso sa court, Supreme Court kung nasettle na as what they said, yung 1.9 million? Uh, Your Honor, because of the unfavorable decisions of the labor arbiter nullifying their deed of redemption, uh, that is the uh, falsified document, Your Honor. The labor arbiter nullified it and ordered the cancellation of the TCT under the name of uh, uh, Tagigland, now under the MCI, ordering the issuance of a new title in the name of the laborer. So, uh, DMCI elevated it to the NLRC. The NLRC affirmed the decision of the labor arbiter. Uh, DMCI elevated it to the Court of Appeals. Uh, the Court of Appeals also affirmed the two decisions of the arbiter and the NLRC. And then they brought it up to the uh, Supreme Court, Your Honor. Tanyan, NLRC, CA, and the Supreme Court meron decision in favor of the complainant. Ang titigas pa rin ang ulo ninyo. Ayaw nyo pa rin maniwala. Ano bang kailangan nyo? Kailang iakit pa kay Heso Kristo. Kataas-taasan na yung Supreme Court. Ayaw nyo pa rin maniwala. Go ahead, Mr. Austria. You're the president. You might want to answer it. I was informed po na um, when, the, when we got the order from the Supreme Court, then we... Uh, Settled with the workers, Paul. You you did settle with the workers. Oh, then yeah. why are they here if you offer so a settlement? With there them? are six workers involved. Five of them no, we have been able to settle with. Oh. Okay, Attorney Capuno, since ikaw ikaw ang abogado sa sa isang natitirang complainant, so is it true na kipag settle sa isang complainant and bakit itong si Mr. Bueno hindi kasama sa settlement? Ah. Uh, your Honor, when the uh, 
Supreme Court decision on the third division was issued, which later on became final and executory. The laborers filed the writ of execution before the labor arbiter Kapinig, where the case uh, was uh, or is currently uh, pending, Your Honor. We were also surprised, Your Honor, to learn that uh, DMCI was able to talk to the five uh, laborers, Your Honor. At that time, uh, we are representing them, uh, the, the laborers. But uh, we were not informed that uh, DMCI talked to them to straightly, directly to the, uh, to the laborers involved. And uh, we were only made known about their settlement when they filed uh, a motion for the approval of the compromise agreement before the labor arbiter, Your Honor. Mr. Ribueno uh, was not part of that uh, settlement, Your Honor. We were surprised. We were caught uh, in surprise, Your Honor, to learn that uh, DMCI uh, went directly to the laborers for the settlement, Your Honor. And what you mean, Sabine? They went directly to the workers. You mean Sabine Pinayar and DMCI? Uh, usually, Your Honor, in in a case pending before any agency or tribunal, when there are talks about settlement, the usual practice is for the lawyer to talk to another lawyer representing the uh, laborers. That's the usual practice, Your Honor. But in this case, Your Honor, we were surprised that uh, they went directly to the laborers. So again, dinasunod yung protocol. So talaga mahilig kang gumamit ng guerrilla tactics dyan sa DMCI. Dapat lawyer to lawyer, alam mo yun, bilang isang abogado, bilang respeto sa kop mga abogado. Diba? Dapat inimpormahan mo yung abogado nila na, okay, panyero, yung apat mong kliyente, makikipagsero sa amin, gusto mong subama para mag-witness, etc., etc. Hindi mo ginawa. Talaga mahilig kang Alam mo, didisbar ka natin di oras ko. No, Your Honor. Uh, when uh, this case are, uh, when the Supreme Court already, uh, what you call this, uh, issued a resolution in First Division that uh, there is, uh, what you call this, that the workers are entitled to one, one six, uh, one third of the property, Your Honor. Uh, a cert, uh, their lawyer, Attorney Arellano, uh, which is their main counsel, Your Honor, uh, what you call this, uh, came to us and wrote a letter to us, Your Honor. We we are keep keep on saying, Your Honor, that we, can, we cannot talk to you because under the what you call this, uh, the workers as as uh, presented to us are Tony Capulong or the Sigun Reina, Your Honor. Uh, because of that, Your Honor, uh, the we asked the labor are during the that, we were very confused, Your Honor. Who are the 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 counsel of the workers because as per uh, Sigyon Reynor, Attorney Capulog, the lawyer of the okay, Kukita. Wait a minute. So, nung uh, nakausap niyo yung apat para aregluhin, kausapin, okay? Uh, Your Honor, we, we, we don't want to talk to, to them first, Your Honor, because as far as them... Hindi nga, hindi nga. Kaya nga, nung, nung uh, sabi mo, nag-offer kayo ng settlement, kinausap niyo po yung apat na complainers na kasama ni Mr. Bueno. Yes, Your Honor. The, so, the lawyer... Present your money, muna yung lawyers nila. Yes, you're representing Honor. them. Yes, you're and were you 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 did uh, make sure na yung lawyer na yon talagang legally. Uh, yes, you're uh, representative. Yes, you're no, because in, in the labor arbitrary the presence okay, of Christo Colanta no mula. Yes or no? Yes, you're Honor. Attorney Capuno. So, Honor. ang sinasabi niya hindi daw ikaw ang ano uh, lawyers ng apat. Uh, Your Honor, in that regard, uh, if you'd like to comment on that, that there are certain inconsistencies already on the statement of the council because they said that uh, they do not know who actually represents the uh, complainants and yet they proceeded on the settlement with the complainants and acknowledging a certain representation as their council, Your Honor, where in fact, before the uh, there was a conference held before uh, labor arbiter uh, Kapinig where the parties were asked who their counsel uh, was and uh, three of them identified this representation, our law office, as their counsel, Your Honor. And yet they proceeded with the uh, settlement without the assistance of uh, this representation, Your Honor. Attorney Gascon, would you like to react? Uh your Honor, uh, because we there are two councils are representing the council, and so that's why uh, the labor arbiter on September 14, Your Honor, called uh, a hearing, Your Honor, in order for for to confirm who are the councils, uh, co-council of the complainant, Your Honor. And during that hearing, Your Honor, the the 
what you call this, the the workers uh, manifested with the labor arbiter that uh, they are that Attorney Arellano is the real counsel, Your Honor, not the Attorney Capuno. And because of that, Your Honor, those who only who are represented by Attorney Arellano, uh, they're the one that we settled, Your Honor. Attorney Capuno? Uh, Your Honor, there was, Mr. Ribuene could confirm this, that they even reached out to Mr. Ribuene for uh, settlement without uh, the knowledge of his counsel, Your Honor, if Mr. Ribuene could be allowed to speak, Your Honor. Uh, yes, Mr. Ribuene. Uh, Your Honor, ang kaso po namin noon, simula, noong September 1996, noong uh, November, uh, November 8, 2008, natuklasan po namin na niloko kami ng Lawin uh, Law Firm. Sapagkat, uh, ibinenta po nila yung tatlong unit ng bus sa halagang 1 million. Kahit uh, nandito po yun siya. Sino po nang loko sa inyo, sir? Ang ano po doon, nagbenta si Mostrales, si Villamor Mostrales, na tauhan po ng Arellano Law Office. Oh, okay. Ngayon po, nung matuklasan po namin yun, na ito pala ay binenta noong uh, 2004, December 6, so, ibig sabihin, tirador itong ito ano niya? Ito po yung ano, gamit yung po yung aming niyo. mga ano, ano kikeng ano, 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 Arellano Law Office po. Tauhan po ito si Villamor uh, Mostrales. Okay. Nung matuklasan po namin na ito ay uh, nagbenta noong 2008, hindi na po namin siya kinuha, abogado, sapagkat uh, gumagawa po siya ng magkilos na hindi namin alam. Gagaya po nito na ibinenta nung natuklasan na namin 2008 na. So nawalan po kami ng tiwala sa Arellano Law Office. Sa katunayan po, nung mag-file ang DMCI ng third party claim noong uh, February 15, 2007, ang subagot po noon nung uh, motion to dismiss si Attorney Dosa na ang subagot. Hindi na po namin kinuha si ang Arellano Law Office sapagkat nawalan nga po kami ng tiwala at hindi na namin sila inintindi pa. Yan naman pala, Mr. Noong ano po, noong 2000. Yan naman pala, Atty. Gascon, eh, niloko sila. Manloloko yung kanilang abogado kaya tinanggal na nila. Kumuha na sila ng ibang abogado. So, hindi ba kayo gumawa ng pag-check? due diligence to make sure na yun talaga pa rin ang abogado at hindi itong abogado na sa halip tulungan sila, lulukuhay pa sila. Your Honor, during that time, in, in previous years, uh, they keep on coming to our office and then uh, still uh, the Arellano Law Office are still representing them for, during that time. Pero, so very, even, even also, Your Honor, in before... Even after 2008? Yes, Your Honor. When, when was the last time that uh, uh, the law firm... Arellano Law Firm represented them that you saw these people uh, in your office representing well, in Mr. Fact, Rebueno. He was also Itali. there, Your Honor. Huh? And there, he was also there. And well, in fact, there is a picture, Your Honor, that they're together with, with, the, with the group of the, of the attorney Arellano. Kaya nga, anong date nga po ito? Uh, it's since 2008, 2009, 2000, until 2022, Your Honor, he was there. The Arellano Law Yes, Your Honor. And well, in fact, during in the labor... Yes, Your Honor. Accompanying the complainants, yes, including Mr. Rebueno? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Rebueno, sir. Kasi kung totoo yung sinasabi mo, Mr. Rebueno, na niloko kayo noong 2008 dahil uh, binenta nga yung lupa at uh, sinibak nyo na yung kanilang serbisyo, sinibak nyo na sila sa pagiging uh, abogado ninyo, eh bakit Kung doon itong sinasabi ni Atty. Gascon, eh bakit nagpagkita pa rin kayo sa kanila up to 2020? Mr. Atty. Gascon, up to what year? Up to 2020, during the pandemic, Your Honor. Okay. still coming 2020 to our at pupunta pa rin kayo sa opisina kasama itong si Atty. Arellano. Pwede ko kayo mag-react, uh, Mr. Bueno. Ah, hindi na po namin talaga abogado, abogado ang lawin. Hindi nga po. Kung hindi nyo na po abogado, ah, po nagkikipatas na po ako dito sa RAP. Kung hindi nyo na po abogado, sinibak nyo na nga po, 
sila dahil manluloko nga itong Arellano law firm, sabi niyo po, then dapat hindi niyo na po sila kinakausap at hindi na po kayo sumasama-sama sa kanila. Uh, binanggit pa po nitong si Atty. Gascon, uh, up to 2020, pumupunta kayo sa tanggapan ng uh, DMCI, or... DMCI and kasama itong si Arellano. Ay hindi po namin kinukuha na talaga kahit sa ang hearing. Hanggang sa uh, LR, eh, hindi po namin kinuha na yun. Pinuto lang nga po namin yung komunikasyon. Sa kanta, Pero, uh, it, sapagkat uh, uh, naintindihan po namin na niloloko kami. De, ginong Lilyo, ang uh, sinasabi ni Atty. Goscon, ang sinasabi nyo, pinutol nyo na ang inyong relasyon doon sa abogado no 2008. Pero, lagi pa rin kayo pupunta sa opisina ng DMCI hanggang 2020. O, totoo yan. At Para meron doon silang... Siya na uh, kami doon. Can I show the picture that he was in the office of Attorney Arellano recently? Yes, How recent is that? Recent month, Your Honor. I think last month. Only this month, Your Honor. So, September, nung nakarapot daw, nandun kayo yes, sa opisina ng Attorney yeah. Arellano. Uh, Para, Attorney... Villamor. Attorney Capuno, you might want to help. Your Honor, I think that uh, recent photo pertains to the uh, recent set attempt to settle and compromise with the laborers where the MCI went directly to the laborers, Your Honor. I think that's the uh, the instance uh, the council was saying, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Bueno, totoo ba na nandun kayo sa opisina ng DMCI nitong buwan na ito o nakaraang buwan? Nakaraang uh, totoo po yun. Inaakit po ako. Uh, na sino po nag-imbita sa inyo? Uh, mga sino po nagpatawag sa inyo? Kung saan loob ba kayo pumunta sa Arla o uh, may, meron po tumawag sa inyo para pumunta sa opisina ng DMC? Yung samahan ko po sa kaso. Sino na, po yung kasamahan niyo sa kaso? Kala ko kayo nalang nag-isa. Inibitahan po kami, ibibenta yung lupa okay. namin. So inamin mo na nandun kayo sa opisina ng DMC. Okay. Ano ang naging areglo ninyo? Ano naging usapan ninyo? Ang uh, usapan, kinukumbinsi po ako na, na pumirma na ibenta namin sa DMCI ang lupa namin. When in fact, na ibenta po namin na yun kay uh, Raymond Ang. Nauna na po yun. Hmm. Nung, uh, so ano, ano sinabi nila? Uh, Hindi kaya pumaya. Uh, ano yun natin ito? Ibenta na natin ito sa kwan. Sabi ko, O sige, tingnan ko yung ano. Tingnan ko yung... Uh, so, sorry, Mr. So, Chair. Uh, Mr. Bueno, Mr. Bueno uh, you have to be very careful doon sa mga answers mo. If you cannot answer it correctly or properly, then consult your lawyer. Kasi nga po, noong 2008, niloko ka na nitong si Arellano Law Firm. Bakit recently sumama ka pa rin sa kanila para magpag-negotiate o magpag-usap? E eh, niloko ka na, di ba? Niloko na kayo, ba't pa kayo makipag-usap sa mga manduloko? Di ba, di ba natural naman, na Sander, kung naturalmente naman po, nakapag yung isang tao na niloko na tayo, huwag na tayong magtiwala sa kanila, e eh, sumama ka pa rin sa, sa attempt na magkaroon ng aregluhan. You might want to answer that, Attorney Capuno. Uh, in that regard, because uh, uh, the MCI went directly to the complainants, Your Honor, to the laborers. Regrettably, we were not uh, well, really aware. Were well, you the council? Kailan po kayo naging council? Uh, si we were engaged, Pernetta? Your Honor, starting June last year, 2022, Your Honor. 2022. So, noong 2020, hindi po kayong council? Not yet, Your Honor. So, yung tinanggal niyo po, kasi sabi niyo po, niloko, niyo, niloko kayo ni, ng Arellano Law Firm. Sino pong kinuha niyong abogado, Mr. Bueno? Meron bang kapalit na abogado kayong nilapitan, law firm? Meron po. Sino po yun? Yun po yun si Attorney Vino, ah, uh, Attorney Mendoza. Mendoza. Uh, marami po kami nakuha. Okay, so may, meron po kayong dokumentong pirmahan na kinukuha niyo po uh, bilang retainer at abogado niyo itong si Attorney Mendoza? Ano po kaming file yan? Okay. Well, so, ikaw lang po niyo po itong uh, DMCI na si Attorney Mendoza ang bago naming counsel dahil itong si uh, Attorney Arellano ay niloko kami. Meron pa po kaming kinuang abogado si Atty. Mora. Atty. Uh, Raul Mora. Mora, okay. Again, na, na-inform ho ba ang DMCI na si Atty. Mendoza and Atty. Mora are these two lawyers 
who will be representing us from now on after 2008. Okay, so Attorney Gascon, so you were properly informed according to Mr. Bueno na si Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora ang kanilang bagong counsel. Pero bakit si Attorney Arellano pa rin ang palagi niyong kinukonta? Parang nananagata uh, kayo. No, Your Honor. Uh, Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora, the one that they saying that he that they hired, he is the lawyer of another uh, claimant, Your Honor. That is uh, the party that allegedly that they sold their right before. But you were properly informed by... No, no, Your Honor. We are not properly informed by that. Because during that time, it's always Attorney Arellano who are with... No, but they have a document that they confirmed to Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora. We have no record, Your Honor. Do you have a document? Uh, attorney, uh, attorney Capuna, you might want to help your client. Meron ba yung dokumento na uh, showing na it, na ang bagong abogado niyo na ay si Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora uh, kapalit ni Attorney Arellano? Meron po kaming uh, meron po kaming file niyan. Meron. Your Honor. And you have that with you? Hindi uh, ko lang po dala ngayon. Okay. May, may meron po siya lang entry of appearance. Entry of appearance. Okay. At the same time nga po nung sila ay nag-file na... Uh, so, meron po kayo entry of appearance. So, yun po ipinakita nyo sa kanila. Opo. Oh, oh. Attorney Gascon, he said, she said na to. So, magpapakita sila ng dokumento na meron siyang entry of appearance at kanil nyo po presenta yung document na yun. The stating na may entry of appearance na sa amin itong si na Attorney uh, Mendoza and Attorney Mora. Kanil nyo po presenta yung dokumento yun. Kanin niyo po binigay? Kanin niyo po pinakita? Sinumite? Ang oh, yun po ay intro of appearance. Tapos po, Your Honor. Anong... Hindi, kanin niyo po binigay yung dokumento yon sa DMCI? Sino doon? Yung sa DMCI po, meron po kami kopya na binigay sa kanila. Okay, so may receive copy. Your Honor. So, go ahead, Attorney Kapuna. So, gusto ko na maging clear. So, sabi niya, binigay sa DMCI, so dapat yung may receive Diba? Yung parang ni-receive copy. Yes, Your Honor, we have that kind of document, Attorney Capuno. I'm sorry, Your Honor, if I may. Uh, Your Honor, in, in no. the usual practice, when a counsel uh, enters its appearance in court, the parties are furnished a copy of the entry of appearance. That would serve as a notice to the party that a new counsel is representing the complaint. Who, who is supposed to furnish that copy? Uh, the, the counsel filing the entry of appearance, Your Honor. So that is supposed to be Attorney Mendoza and Attorney Mora. Yes, Your Honor. That is part of the uh, records of the of the case, Your Honor. Okay. So since they're not here, we cannot ask them. My question, kasi sana, if meron tayong kopya ng dokumento na nareceive yung uh, do document na yon na telling the MCI na they are the new lawyers. Yes, Your Honor. You might want to look for that. We'll, we'll check the records, Your Honor. Okay. Kasi kapag merong ganun dokumento, then may problem na naman tong DMCI. Pinaipas na naman nila yung mga abogado na totoo Your Honor, na yun talaga ang Your Honor, legit. Your Honor, if you may add on the discussion regarding the uh, alleged settlement in year 2009, as mentioned uh, earlier, if I may quote the portion of the, the decision of the Supreme Court, uh, it stated there that, I quote, the above cited statement demonstrates that the signatures of respondents were pro, uh, fraudulently placed in the, in the said deed of redemption and quit claim. Villamor A. Mostrales, open close parenthesis, Mostrales, the representative of their previous counsel gave them 100,000 pesos in the guise that it was the proceeds of an open close close to the insurance from a, sh a surety company and they were made to sign blank pages with their names. However, before the LA, it was shown that it was Attorney Gascon, the lawyer of DMCI, who gave the money to Mostrales, believing that the latter was a lawyer. Evidently, the consent of the respondents was progenently secured in this said deed of redemption and quit claim. These are the words of the Supreme Court, uh, Your Honor. Uh, if Earlier, it was mentioned that there was a settlement made in year 2009, but the findings of the Supreme Court stated that it is not 1.9 million that was given to the respondents, but only 100,000 pesos only. And it was not as a settlement of the labor case, but only 
uh, the proceeds of an insurance from a surety company, Your Honor. I'm just lifting the, the okay. findings of the Supreme Court, Your Honor. Now, Attorney Gascon, tell me, tell us, nagsisinulang bang Supreme Court? Doon sa initial nilang uh, statement? That's the finding of the Supreme Court, but we filed... Sino mas paniniwalaan ko? Ikaw, Supreme Court. Sino ang dapat paniniwalaan ko? Sige, sumagot ka. Be careful with your answer. Of course, Your Honor. It's the, it's the wordings of the Supreme Court. And exactly. The Supreme Court. There you go. Basis sa sinabi ng wording sa Supreme Court, ikaw ay sinungaling. Sinasabi ninyo, kay dyan sa DMCI, na nagbayad kayo ng 1.9 million para sa lahat ng complainant. Pero ay, para, para areglo, doon sa kanilang claim. Wala sabi ng Supreme Court, hindi, 100,000 naman binigay ninyo at niloko nyo pa. Hindi nyo sinabi ka reglo, kundi, repeat it again, Attorney Gascon. The 100,000 is for? I quote, sir, uh, the 100,000 in the guise that it was the proceeds of an insurance from a surety company. Insurance from a surety company. In the guise. See? Ibig sabihin, niloko nyo itong mga tao. You said 1.9 million. The Supreme Court said no. 100,000 lamang. You said the 1.9 is para pang areglo. The Supreme Court said no. Walang 1.9, meron 100,000, pero yun ay para uh, sa insurance. In the guys na yun ay para sa insura at para sa surety. O, sige, sabihin mo mali ang Supreme Court. Sige, subukan mo. No, Your Honor. I I'm not saying that the Supreme Court is uh, wrong, Your Honor. Uh, Very clear yung wording sa Supreme Court doon. Hindi naman, the Supreme Court will not come up with that kind of decision, with that kind of wordings doon sa dokumentong binabasahan, binabasa ni Mr. Capuno without all the, the documentations presented to them, all the pieces of evidence, the Supreme Court did due diligence. It, it, it took them years before they come up with that kind of decision. Hindi ka tulad sa'yo, moro-moro ang decision mo, moro-moro yung pinagagawa mo. Kaya nga, yung buhay, kaya mo, yung patay, kaya mo buhayin. Your Honor, the, the one uh, the one that who distribute that is Mr. Mustarales, Your Honor. It's not. It's no. Let's talk about the Supreme Court. Ano decision? Yung wordings doon sa sa dokumento na galing sa Supreme Court. Nasabi mo 1.9 million pesos pang areglo sa lahat ng complainant, right? Sabi ng Supreme Court, it didn't happen. Kundi 100,000 lamang at 100,000. E nilokom nyo pa sila. Sinabi, e yan ay para sa insurance. E yan ay para sa insurance at sa surety. Hindi areglo. Ako. Attorney, excuse me, Senator Rafi. What is the, you filed an MR before the Supreme Court? That's uh, in the first division, Your Honor. We filed the MR. I shall reconsideration, Your Honor, because uh, uh, the Supreme Court already uh, uh, Gave a pronouncement that the one third is. Uh, ano decision yung binabasa mo? First division, Attorney Kabuno. Uh, I'm reading the first, the Supreme Court first, first division. division. Decision, All right. Your Honor. You filed an MR before the first division. Partial MR. MR the, has, has it been resolved? Not yet. Not. So it is most unlikely that uh, they will not uh, reverse their own decision. What if they uh, deny your uh, MR? Uh, yeah, no, if, if they deny the RMR, that's why uh, recently we already, uh, when the Supreme Court uh, decision came that they are only entitled to one third, uh, the complainant already, the previous Your Honor, came uh, again to the MCA for settlement, Your Honor. Binagit mo yung MR, uh, Mr. Gascon, uh, motion for reconsideration. Doon po partial, Your Honor. Partial motion for reconsideration. Doon po sa naging decision ng Supreme Court. Ano yung mga bagong ebidensya yung isinumiti mo para sabihin sa Supreme Court na dapat pakikingan kayo dahil nagsasabi kayo na totoo? Kasi uh, sabi ng Supreme Court, 100,000 lamang. Ang sabi mo, 1.9. Ano yung mga dokumentong sinumiti mo para makorek? Kung meron man dapat i-correct doon sa decision ng Supreme Court. I'm not the one who filed the, the well, but 
you're not the one to, who, who did file that, pero ha, nasaan na yung MR ninyo? Ano mga naka-attach doon sa MR ninyo? Hindi naman pwede mag magpapadala ka ng MR nang walang attachments. I'm sorry, Your Honor, we don't have the copy of the... Oh, eh, alam mo, mag tayo at itong pag-uusapan natin, eh, hindi mo dinala? Eh, abogado ka, di ba? Pagpupunta ka sa korte sa isang hearing, pag may kaso ka, who we filed the, the MR? MR? It's our Absolutely. external counsel, Your Honor. It's huh? our local office, Your Honor. Not you? Not me, Your Honor. Why? I thought you're the lead counsel of uh, the MCA. Uh, we, we have our external counsel, Your Honor. Pero, pero kahit na, Mr. Chair, kahit na hindi sila nag-file, at least yung pinal ng counsel Didn't before... Didn't they give you a copy of the... Meron dapat sila. MR? Uh, yes, Your Honor. It's in the office, Your Honor. So, nasa na po yung MR? We will provide, Your Honor, if, oh. the, if, if provide mo yung... MR ninyo, anong nakasaad doon and then ano yung mga new uh, information and pieces of evidence na prinsinta ninyo para para eh, kuliktad. Yes, Your Honor. Kung meron man dapat may correct Yes, Your Honor. Diba? Yes. Doon sa decision ng Supreme Court, it has been correct, it should be corrected because these are the documents we are presenting you stating na ito yung tama. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ah, si, si okay, Senator Cheese. Senator Cheese. He's been waiting for it's okay. several... I was listening. Um, some preliminaries, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, with the permission of Senator Tulfo. Um, may I ask, Attorney Gascon, ano yung partially nire-reconsider nyo sa decision ng First Division? Uh, again, Your Honor, we, are, we, we raised with the Supreme Court the, their observation first that the, uh, we, with regard to this pronouncement that, that... There was fraud. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, what else? Uh, 